So this is how we're gonna add a translator to your keyboard on WhatsApp. Let's get started. So if you go ahead and open up the WhatsApp, obviously there isn't any translator built in, but you can download a different keyboard from the App Store. So you can go to the App Store directly. And there you can look up the keyboard, which is called the Gboard, right? So it's from Google. It's a great keyboard, by the way. And that one, when you do install it to your iPhone and set it up according to the instructions, it is going to give you the ability to use the translate feature directly within your keyboard, right? So no matter what you're doing, you might be texting over WhatsApp. You can just go through the keyboard and tap on the more options and find the translate uh, ability, right? You can type in, in one text and have the uh, text ready, literally type that in, in that other language. So it just makes it very simple because you don't have to like leave the app and get the translation. You have it done seamlessly right within the process of texting. So yeah, I believe that there are some other apps or keyboards which have the translation built in, but Gboard is such a great package because you have like a professional keyboard and also the translation built in. So obviously you can switch anytime back to the Apple keyboard if you're okay with that. You can just hold down on the globe icon in the bottom left and switch in between all of the available keyboards. But I'm just saying that the Google Translate, which is already really powerful, is built into the Google keyboard. So I quite like the combination. So let me know below in the comments if you managed to set it up or if it worked well for you. Go ahead and share your experience below if you want. And I'll see you in the next tutorials.